Which is more important to you? Good sex or financial stability? So you want a, a man or a woman that has good loving or a good paycheck. You can't have both. So which is important for you? I'll go first. Go ahead. The, the financial stability, I would go with that first because I can teach you the good loving. You're preaching, ma'am. <laughs> that was gonna be my answer, but go ahead. Like, cause, 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 what I see, I see it as just like I told somebody tonight when they was uh, talking to me and getting advice about it. I don't care how it go, you both got to learn each other when it comes to the loving part and having sex part. Because what worked for that last person don't mean it's gonna work well, for this. What for you? So where is, where is I feel yeah, like somebody can say the same thing for the reverse, though. What do you mean? Yeah, I was I was gonna say like somebody could say the same thing like uh Keith was saying as far as picking financial, financial stability. stability first over over good sex. Someone could actually say the same it. thing, like you know, financial yeah. st- I mean, because I feel like when you say financial stability, I feel like when you're talking to certain people, that's gonna mean certain things to me. I'm like overall, you know, being able to, you know, have funds and not have to worry about things and not pinching pennies. But I feel like to some <laughs> angle. Financial stability looks different to different people. So, like mm-hmm. when you're say, t- saying to me, you're picking or or you're given the option of good sex over financial stability. What does that financial stability look like? Like, are you just saying you you have a job and you're able to pay your bills and you know you're okay until your next paycheck comes? Like, what does that look like? Because I mean, that I feel like that's standard. Like, I feel like. You know, unless you like just dating any old body, like, I mean, if you're taking care of yourself, then to some people that may be financially stable, like I ain't worried, I ain't got a big, you know, I ain't got a whole sum of money, but, you know, I can pay my bills, I can go out to dinner every now and then, so I'm stable. So, you know, or they can feel like the reverse, like I was saying, you know, if it's somebody who's very sexually active and they have a high sex tolerance, like that may be a top thing for them. They may be like, okay, well, you got to have the good stuff first, you know, and if you, if you already at that level where you have a job, you can pay your bills. Like I can teach you how to be, how to manage your money more and how to get more of it. But that's my thing. Like when people give that little choice, it's just like, how much financial stability are you talking? But I still feel like you can, you can teach somebody how to love on you too. Like, yeah, that's, that's and that's why I totally agree with what Keisha was saying, because for me is, you know, it is it's if I don't I need to learn, you you know, what I'm saying, especially and if, if I'm this is say I'm financially stable. Right. Mm-hmm. And I got the money together, things of that nature, like. Normally, it's because I'm a busy person, I work hard, you know, what I'm saying so I don't have the mental capacity to just know it all especially when it comes to learning somebody else of the opposite sex that I'm trying to spend my life with. So yeah, you got to show me what makes you kick. You got to, and what I necessarily show me, but you got to like, if there's something that don't work for you, I wouldn't just like write you off. If you're doing something for me and it just don't work for me because you did it for your last boyfriend. Like, I'm gonna let you know, like, no, this is how I like to be touched. This is how I like to be sucked. This is how I like, to be. you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you got to learn each other regardless. So I totally agree with, uh, with Keisha. You got to learn each other. This is a PG. Don't be using that S word up here. This is a. a, a <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. It, I'm sorry. I'm I didn't mean. It. <laughs> oh, I'm not sorry. I didn't. I didn't. But you get like, I. It's just what it is, though. Like, I feel like, I for me, but I no, would not, have, not. I will, yeah. I feel like I, I guess I guess have... I'm I'm just probably playing a little bit of devil's advocate for. Oh no no, but I agree with you. Because, because, no, I agree with what you like, said. I definitely because agree with like you said. it's that's that's still a difference though. Like you're saying, learn the person sexually when you're with somebody. That's something you're. I would hope that you're you doing automatically is learning a person sexually and what they desire, what their likes are, different things like that. But we're saying like bad at sex, like not learning you and what you like and the things you don't like they're just bad at sex they don't know how to, to do it they people, just get fumbled they're just over the place I, to a lot of people to a lot of people people feel like if if they don't do something that makes you tick that you're bad at sex i don't know you know what i'm saying like that's that that is a thing that's a literal thing like there's a lot What's of the people there's a lot of people that you know what i'm saying 
literally like they'll have they'll they'll have the 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 intercourse for the first time and then be like oh that was horrible i ain't never talking to him again when like you never you don't it could have just been the fact that they don't know what makes what buttons to push okay. like literally well right. this, listen, this is what made me come up with the question because i was watching this tv show because i know i'd be up at like three four o'clock in the morning and i was like oh yeah this is a good question somebody dropped but go ahead Ashley. <laughs> It was a um, it was a TV show, and uh, what well, the guy her 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 boyfriend was a doctor, not no going to school. He's already in it, financially stable. He's fit, he's handsome, he's black, and uh, he got a shit together. But he sucked balls in the bedroom. She could not. She was just like it was literally. She was having like an out of body experience. Like she was like he would be behind her. And she would be like this right here. And she'd be talking to the t the camera. It'd be like, so he's really think he's doing something. I don't know how long I can do this. I'll put up with this. I don't know. Okay, well, I can see he's almost finished. Uh, 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 like, I was like, oh, <laughs> like, we do have to do that. Like, sometimes, but you, because you're like, I, I, I don't, he's not sexually pleased me or she's not. I don't think men have to deal with this, but women are more like, he's not sexually pleasing me. I'm not sexually fulfilled or satisfied, but I don't want to just leave because of sex when he got everything else going, you know? Um, and it just made me think, I was like, and he asked her to marry him and, but she got a side dude. Like she had a side dude, so. Yeah, yeah but Another you got to think about it as well, though. You got to think about it as well. Would it be like that? If he wasn't a doctor and didn't have that financial stability and she was getting what she get, would it would even would it have even gotten that far for her to find out if he was good or not? Ooh. Wait, Wait say that again. So That's a good question. Say that again, kids. Okay, so the thing is, being like according to what Ashley just described, what she was watching, the thing is, if he mm -hmm. wasn't a doctor and he didn't have the money and all this stuff he had. And she couldn't get the things she was getting. Would it have gotten that far for her to even find out if he was even good or not? For the simple mm -hmm. fact of, if it's that important about the good loving, she would have left regardless of who, what he had, how he had. But she stayed and got a whole side nigga. So she wanted those finances before she wanted that good love. Mm. I'll tell you this right here. I haven't finished it because after this right here, I'm going to watch the middle of it. <laughs> but um, matter of fact, I'll tell y'all the show um, if y'all care to watch it so y'all can be up to date. But um, but one of the things when she would go visit her side dude, even after she accepted the guy proposal, because she she wasn't going based off what you said, Kiki, uh, she wasn't real. She's not happy in it, you know, because when he asked her, when he proposed to her, she was like, uh, let me think about it. And he was like, what like he's what he's like a oreo type of guy like he's black but he's like you know mm -hmm. you know but um and so he was like yeah. that's not what you're supposed to do he's like where's jumping for joy where's the oh my god i'm crying he's like i thought you guys you women love that you know she was like just let me think about it and so what what happened when she ended up getting aside well he he left for some surgery or whatever and then she talked to her girls about it. And then, of course, you got one, a couple girls that's like, uh, he's a cornball. I don't even know why you went with him anyway. Then the other one was like, girl, you better go ahead and say yes. You ain't got to, you want to be a housewife. You ain't got to worry about nothing ever again. And then she had a cousin that was like, um, do what makes you feel <laughs> happy. <laughs> huh? Do what, do what makes you feel happy. I was laughing at Keith's face. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, do what makes you feel happy. And then, um, and then they went out and then that's how she ended up. A guy was like, yo, can I dance with you? And she was like, no, no, no. She was real respectful about her relationship. She's like, no, 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 I don't want to. And then one of the friends was like, girl, you want a break. You can dance. It's just a dance. And they say, you know, that's how she ended up with her side dude, you know? And of course it was, he was meant, no offense. Uh, I know this girl talked Daniel, but mandingo you know um so she was like she had another out of body experience she's like how come the guys with the good dick that's tall dark and handsome don't have their shit together you know <laughs> and so she was just like and so but see my thing is i feel like go ahead ashley that's how she ended up accepting the guy's proposal because she was like he's supportive of me um he'll be a great husband a great father he loves me she's like but the sex is just like and 
he also because the same way she was um talking to her girls he was actually going to the hospital and talking to his uh female like nurse whoever helped him in the delivery room and all that other stuff um and they was just like yo you need some help in the bedroom so the women talked to him about it at his job and uh because he was like they said well what does she do after y'all have sex and he was like oh she watches tv and they they just bust out laughing it's like so she doesn't go to sleep he was like no she just watches tv or plays on the phone and they was they bust out laughing so that's when he took her to a sex store so he did try you know but she you know uh, I can't wait to watch see what's yeah. what's happening next, but but yeah, but she accepted his. Comments. I was just gonna, I was just gonna say like overall, I feel like financial stability will always take the crown because there's so many things that comes with that. You know, I mean, good sex is just one thing, so I feel like financial stability will always take the crown if you're picking between the two. But I will say that I I'm not, I won't necessarily don't like. I hate how a lot of times people downplay attraction and sex and things in relationships. Like they'll say like, like for a low level example, like you'll, they'll like, you have two people or you have a friend. They're like, oh, I saw this. I I know I have this great guy for you. He got this, he got this going for himself. Really great guy, whatever, whatever. And she, let me set you up on a date. So they said the friend sets them up on a date. And she sees the person and she is not physically attracted to him. They go out on another date. She doesn't feel no attraction to him. Like she can't see herself being intimate with him or anything like that. And she goes back and tell her friend like, oh, you know, this guy is great, but you know, I don't really find him attractive. And you know, people will be like, girl, he, he has a great personality. He got this and he got that. But I feel like when you are with somebody, you can't, like physical attraction is what you first See, when you meet somebody, if you don't know anything about them, the first thing that you're meeting is their appearance. It's gotta be so I there. feel like, yeah, like their appearance. So I feel like, you know, I don't think people should downplay when some like physical attraction to somebody having chemistry or uh, your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sexually attracted to that person or, you know, you can see yourself being intimate with them. I feel like that are those are still important things in a relationship. And then, you know, I feel like sometimes people ignore those things and then they get in these relationships, you know, long term, they get married and all of that. And the person does not sexually satisfy them. And then they start cheating or they start doing whatever, whatever, whatever. Or, you know, they really wasn't attracted to the person and the person feels like, they can feel that the person is not attracted to them. So they, the other person may start to have low self, low self esteem or confidence or things like that. So I just want people to be, you know, welcome. Like, you know, don't shy away from like, if you're not physically attracted to the person, not saying that you should just automatically write them off, but that is something that you should kind of be checking the box on. Like, are you attracted to them? Do you have a chemistry with them? Not just, okay, this person, person has this and this person has that so we're good like no are you really attracted to them like do you feel the connection is the love there like those are things to be uh, conscious of as well mm-hmm. we're gonna talk, one of the topics we're going to talk about probably next week is blind dates because that because Whitney just like I think you should your friends should know who you are so they should look for certain qualities not just uh the getting married qualities but also is my homegirl going to want to fuck him qualities you know <laughs> <laughs> so Courtney, always how leave it feel, to Ashley. <laughs> how do you feel about that topic? Like, um, what's important to you? Good loving or good finances? I mean, like Whitney said, we're talking about the the just the question itself, not getting into details about like, can I make this person better this way or that way? If we're talking about the question itself, I'm totally with Whitney. Financial stability is always gonna trump that. I don't, I don't that was a bad term to use but it's always going to be above that (laughs) but um yeah i just i don't that's not a question i'm always going to want financial stability over good sex granted both would be fantastic however if i had to pick between two it's going to be financial stability and sometimes i don't feel like it's like a financial stability up here and good sex down here like a lot of times it's really like (laughs) oh like what like that should that should just come at an automatic pair like sometimes like you just want it to be like that's just a pair you right that's have. how you want it like, that's instead how you of separated like it's not it's not like oh, okay well oh yeah I'm definitely choosing it's like nah like you want good sex too it's not too far down below 
financial stability. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, but, just but typically it's the no, guy I got you. that's like, no, no card, <laughs> uh, uh, no card. <sighs> Hey, they got the Excel at something. They ain't got nothing else going. They got the Excel. Exactly. Like, and and those are the ones that depend on that to get them what they want as well. Uh huh. Be Just it. like with money, the guys with money, they depend on that to get them what they want because they don't. Yep. They might ain't females. Good luck. So all good they got is their money. Right. Absolutely. Yep. So just like females too, they feel like they just because they're they great and bad and they look good, mm -hmm. they feel like yeah. that should be enough for to get a, a baller. Listen, yeah, that's I went, true. Listen, I went to Lada uh, uh, Saturday. Matter of fact, Courtney, uh, remember when we was on the phone in the grocery store? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so after I got off the phone to your stuff and I was going to check out, so it was a woman and two kids and a guy and it was me. Well, they clearly knew each other and then so they was talking, you know, how we talk in the store. And so, you know how black people always be, you either do one or two things. You either be like, you're looking at somebody's cart, or either you'd be like, oh, I should have came a little bit early. You could have bought my stuff. Or, or, or I'm going to go home with you. Yeah. You the one with all the good stuff. You know, we all know why we do that, but we do that in the own um, girl stuff. Well, anyway, so the woman was like, you going to buy my stuff. And so the man was like, well, what you going to give me? Now, this is all talk through the mask. We all got on masks, you know. And so he was like, what you going to give me? And she said, oh, baby, uh, you can't afford this. And so he was like, shit, that's why I don't deal with light-skinned women anyway, you know, because y'all always want to overcharge for something. Ooh. And it made me think, it made me think, I'm like, how much do she think she's worth? She's older, she had two kids, and she won't all the way that cute, you know, like, you know, like some run out the house real quick type stuff, you know, you know, so I was <laughs> like, how much she think she's worth? And I was like, do we overvalue ourselves? Like, if he would have just bought her grocery and let it be that, like she should have been thankful, but she was like, "Oh no, let me go back." Because I, I, I hate being behind people that be like, "Oh, let me run and go get this real quick." Or, let me go get that. I'm like holding up the damn line, you know. But uh, I that just made me think. I'm like, "What she mean by oh, you gonna have to pay more than this?" And I'm like, "But you got two kids. Your hair ain't done. Your nails ain't done." Uh, but she might like, like, because she wanna get her hair done. She you don't get her know what that. Done. To play devil's advocate, you don't know what that girl's head game like. You don't know right, what, or what like. she can do. That's like, probably where she put her value on. She probably said, yeah, exactly, I'm going to show you exactly. how I got these oh, kids. Listen, listen, she said, she said, she, they was talking about some, oh no, he he invited her to like a concert or something. I guess he's like a, a DJ or something. Like, I don't know. He gave me DJ vibes. And so she was like, oh, she said, uh-uh, y'all too old. Y'all play that old people music. She said, now, when you got some Megan Thee Stallion, uh, some body out of y'all, she said, then I'll come out there, you know? And I just started laughing. I was like, these old-ass people, like, that's so... That was so hilarious, but... But you got you got a lot of people out here who are nickels looking for a dime. Oh, that's true. All right, so yeah, let's wrap this up because it's almost 11. All right, so basically, um, <laughs> so is Trump... is. I don't, I don't want to use that word. So is <laughs> so is fine. So I, I'm thinking of, I think everybody with Kiki and maybe Daniel, uh, I think us three went in court. We 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 want finances. We want you to be financially stable, and that's not on no gold digger type stuff. Because I know men are gonna look at this and be like, figures, gold diggers, you know. But um, I'm a gold digger. Come on, somebody. Um, and I ain't about no football or no soccer, no. but anyway, um, but uh, they want they feel like uh, with sex it can be teachable. Um, I don't know, but then again, like you say, finances could be teachable, you know, you learn how to budget. You know, I think you could probably get a guy or get money. Some yeah. people don't know how to get money. Like if you with somebody like you ain't really used to getting money or hustling or doing whatever, you get somebody that's about their business and own it. Like they gonna teach you some things. They gonna teach you how to, like how they. I should say necessarily teach you. Like they gonna motivate you to the point where you wanna get up and you wanna do more than what you've been doing. Mm. You know. So, yeah. I don't know if it's necessarily teaching them, but you know they gonna be motivation for you because you ain't gonna be around them sleeping in the bed until twelve o'clock and they done got up and they done did two or three, four things before you even yes. touch the floor. <laughs> Listen, speaking of that, Whitney, on um, like a couple guys, new a uh, couple guys that I used to converse with, um, they'll call me to be like one, two o'clock in the afternoon, and I they hear the grogginess in my voice, right? And they be like, "Damn, what you do?" And I'm like, "I'm like, why?" I say, "Cause I sound, you know, I, I tell people I'm self-employed or whatever." 
And uh, I'm like, why? I said, start questioning me what time I get up in the afternoon when I ask you to pay my bills. If I don't actually pay none of my bills, then don't question why I'm getting up one, two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> you know, but, uh, I hate that. You know? But yeah. we're going to wrap this up. Um, thank y'all. Um, uh, thank you, Lou, for coming on for the amount of time that you could. Um, once again, everybody go visit his uh, page, uh, Lou Clemens, and then um, the body movement, I'll post it um, in the description on the YouTube videos, and then I'll also post it on the I've Noticed uh, Facebook page. But uh, peace out, you guys. Wait, hold on. We gonna stay on after this or no? Yeah. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Let me hit the stop recording. Please hit it this time. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me hit the Hold on, let me hit the start record and let me get off a line. They sure we hit it this time.